this is a frameless stereotactic navigation system, which is essentially computerized guidance for brain surgery. So what's done is images are put into this computer, and then we can create a preoperative plan for several reasons. So one plan is to make sure that we can limit the size of our, our opening. We can be as focused and as targeted as possible. In the past, this really wasn't possible with any significant degree of certainty. We tended to use much larger openings to do the same procedure. Now we can focus this in with image guidance, make a preoperative plan, and then go right to the spot precisely that we intended to go to. So with the images in here, I can make a preoperative plan. I can plot a, an entry point. You see on the screen here, here's a 3D reconstruction of the patient's head done from the MRI image. And this can rotate around so that I can position this just as the head would be positioned facing me in the operating room. And I can locate where I would enter and then what the particular lesion is uh, of interest. And then I can make a trajectory to it, a planned uh, trajectory or path to uh, the lesion. So we can limit the size of the craniotomy. It also helps with orientation. When you have a tumor at the base of the skull or in the brain itself, the anatomy around it is distorted. And so one thing that this has helped us with tremendously in more modern contemporary brain surgery is that it helps you stay oriented due to shifts of the normal tissue away from this or distortion of it. You can get an idea of where you're at by using the computerized guidance system. Usually we know where we are we think we know where we are, but we can confirm it with this, and this is very precise in showing us uh, uh, where we are in the brain or around the outside of it. This particular device mostly helps us for hemorrhagic strokes. So if there is a clot in a portion of the brain, uh, we're developing ways of approaching this through a minimally invasive approach. Without image guidance, we would have to make a much larger opening. There'd be more adjacent tissue trauma. It's less precise. We're developing ways now where, with this type of a system, we can make just a very small incision and a small opening, say no bigger than the size of a nickel or a quarter in the skull, and go exactly to the clot, put a catheter in it, evacuate clot, either using the microscope or nowadays, uh, which is more new, is using an endoscope, actually, so that we can go through no more than the size of a nickel, uh, get into the clot, and evacuate it. So this is very important in terms of our being able to precisely target that clot in the brain.